Hi everyone. Welcome to part one of our educational video series with tips to help get you started plein air painting. Our first video will cover basic equipment you'll need for oil, watercolor, or pastel. Learn from our members as they share what works for them. And if you live in the Indiana area, consider becoming an IPAPA member and attend a paint out. You can check out the description below for links to products to help get you started. Let's dive in. First, you'll want to find something like an easel or drawing board to hold your canvas or paper. Secondly, you'll need a carrying case for your medium that can attach to your easel. Let's hear from our artists. I've got all my pastels in here. So I've got them sorted into uh, by color and by value. My yellows, my purples, my blues, greens, warm blues, warm purples. I have my brushes and pencils and other tools all in one place. So my watercolor easel is a, a pan set. I often refill these. You can get the pans, they're pre-filled and some of them are, um, but as I empty them, I'll either refill them with the tube or sometimes wash them out and add a color that I can't get in a pan set. I usually have these colors um, and I use a Lucas brand and then I've also used some Gamblin and other colors. The panel is a gesso board and I pre-primed it um, with a thin wash of oil so that the initial layer lays down in the way that I would like it to. This is my sketchbook. I take this with me whenever I go out painting. Sketching ideas for paintings. Here's a sketch for this one. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's uh, basically just a preliminary plan. That way I have something to go off of and I'm not just shooting from the hip as I'm painting. I paint with a variety of tools, but my favorite brushes are um, Rosemary and Company, and um, I'll have a soft. This is a synthetic. Um, this is probably a natural bristle brush. Um, sizes, I try to go from a four to seven to eight. And then I bring a couple of palette knives. This one I use primarily for mixing all my, my colors, um, although I'll sometimes use it on the canvas. And this one is really great for um, coming in and getting a really straight edge on a roof line or side of a building. You know, it, you look at the forecast <laughs> and maybe there's a chance of rain so you bring, like I have in the car, a big umbrella that I can post up and I can literally get underneath and get out of the elements. And sometimes it's good because maybe I was going to be up there where there's no shade and I want to have a, a little block of the sun. A bug repellent, sunblock, water, hat, you know, if you're going to be in the sun, that kind of thing. So, you know, and in some cases, like if you go for a weekend to some spot, you know, you want to make sure that you have all kinds of stuff in case the weather turns. So like panels here, wet paintings here, this is pastel, this is oil, and then I have my frames in the front. The thing about IPAPA that's so great is everyone is encouraging and giving, even if it's a competition, we're happy when each other wins, you know. It's, we're there to help each other. 